brand new study, hot off the press. Um, maybe not hot off the press, but it's at least, at least hot out of my inbox. Um, it was published a few months ago. But this is a Danish study um, in regards to fish oil supplementation in pregnant women, and it reduced asthma uh, in their children. So um, my name is Dr. Philip Oob. I'm a functional medicine doctor here in Austin. I'm going to tell you a little bit about fish oil and pregnancy, apparently. So the study I just read shows that women that started fish oil supplementation at about weeks 22 to 26 of gestation, so 22 weeks along, um, and continued fish oil supplementation, they were about 2,400 milligrams of omega-3s per day, and um, they took it for the entire duration of the pregnancy, and then the authors watched the children um, after they were born and followed them for five years, until they were five years old. And it turns out that the children that were given the, um, the fish oil, they had less asthma. The children that were given the olive oil placebo capsules, or I'm sorry, the pregnant women, the pregnant women were given the olive oil and the, the fish oil capsules, not the children. So while the women were pregnant, if they took the fish oil capsules, their children had less asthma. And if they were given the olive oil capsules, then their children actually had more asthma. Now, when you look at the data, the number wasn't huge like it was it, fish oil didn't completely wipe out asthma um, which isn't too terribly surprising but what I do like to point out is that this is a conventional medical article that studying fish oil improves that fish oil helps reduce inflammatory slash autoimmune components because asthma is technically kind of an autoimmune component it's an overreaction to the environment and um, so it's an immune system gone haywire not so much autoimmune but we kind of treat it the same way in functional medicine so I just want to say that fish oil is real. Um, if that study doesn't prove it, I'm not sure what other people are waiting for. It definitely has anti-inflammatory benefits. Um, to talk a little bit about fish oil and different types of fish oil, um, there's a lot of crappy fish oil out there, guys. Um, so don't buy a cheap product because you are definitely getting what you pay for in the fish oil department. If you want to know if your fish oil is real or not, one of the easiest things to do is take a knife, cut the capsule open, and smell it. If it doesn't smell like salmon or just raw fish, then it's not real fish oil. So you don't need to be taking it because it's probably vegetable oil or whatever, whoever knows what kind of oils. So I routinely check fish oil levels in all of my patients um, because if they're eating enough fish, they might not need fish oil. But if most people, in, at least in Austin, don't eat a ton of fish, um, so most of us need fish oil supplementation. What you're aiming for is about uh, 1,400 milligrams of EPA per day and about 600 to 800 milligrams of DHA per day. They each have their own benefits. They're both important. Typically, if you're eating fish, you're getting a lot more DHA just from the fish, but EPA is a little harder to find, so I encourage people to get it from the fish oil supplement. Um, EPA is known as the anti-inflammatory oil, and in fact, one of the routine markers we check is your arachidonic acid level, which is your omega-6 level and kind of your inflammatory oil, and how does that compare to your EPA level, which is your anti-inflammatory oil? And the ratio we're we're aiming for is less than 12. Our ancestors ate a lot less omega-6s and a lot more omega-3s, so their ratio was always better, and so they had um, less cardiovascular events is the, the theory. So keeping that inflammatory oil down, keeping the EPA up. <clears throat> DHA is also a anti-inflammatory oil, but not nearly as powerful as EPA. So if you're struggling from inflammation, definitely focus on EPA, but DHA is heavily used throughout the body. Um, if you read Dr. Perlmutter's book, he goes into the numbers as far as DHA in the brain, and it's the main oil found in the brain. Your brain weighs six pounds, and 60% of it is fat, and the majority of that fat is DHA. So if you're not eating DHA or you're not taking fish oil capsules, then you can't expect your brain to be firing on all cylinders, if you know what I mean. So either get your omega-3 levels checked or buy a good omega-3 supplement. Um, the companies I like are Metagenic, Pure, uh, Zymogen, uh, Orthomolecular, not all of those make good fish oil uh, supplements. The only one that I know that is testing for the radiation, Fukushima radiation, is Metagenics, because if they're farming fish that were uh, irradiated, and then you're taking that fish oil, you've technically kind of concentrated that radiation into the fish oil. Um, a lot of fish oil products um, contain mercury and heavy metals, and that's because they're using farmed fish or fish that are already heavy and are high in heavy metals. And if they're not purposefully extracting out the heavy metals, then of course it concentrates into the oil. So things to think about when you're taking a fish oil. Um, if you are taking a fish oil, please get your omega-3 levels checked so that you know if it's working or not. Um, I'm not a big fan of krill oil. I really hate to beat up krill oil, <clears throat> but it's a terrible source of omega-3. It's marketed as the best omega-3 and best absorption and all that, but krill oil only has 20% omega-3s 
per milligram of, uh, of krill oil. So if most of the time the krill oil is 500 milligrams, so that means there's only 100 milligrams of uh, omega-3s in the krill oil pill. And most people need around 2,000 milligrams total of fish oil per day or omega-3s in order to maintain healthy omega-3 levels. So if you do the math, you would have to take 20 krill oil pills per day to get 2,000 milligrams of fish oil per day. So I'm not a big fan of krill oil. It's got astaxanthin, which is an antioxidant, great. But um, humans weren't really ever supposed to eat krill, so I, I don't know that that's really the greatest supplement on the earth. So as you can tell, I'm not a big krill oil fan. So stick to the fish oils, look for EPA 700 milligrams, DHA 300 milligrams, and take two of those capsules per day. Um, my favorite product is Metagenics EPA-DHA 1000, but there's tons of them out there, so find a good one.